right, here we go. Um, gosh, man. Well, I'm going to start off with the dictionary because that's been... I was trying to figure out what the hell goes is going on sometimes. I just, I'm like... And I get to the this spot uh, often. I, I was just a little while ago, not anymore. Trust me, otherwise I wouldn't be able to do the video. That's for bloody sure. But it's, um... Where are you, man? Where are you? Where are you, Rapture? Rapture. Mental transport, ecstatic delight, vehement pleasure or the expression of it. Be in or go into. Be enthusiastic and talk enthusiastically. Act of transporting a person from one place to another. Um, yeah, sorry, I'm using my camera. I just wanted to go for a little walk, really, and just show you things. Um, yeah, it's just been a crazy whatever. As you know, I still have got the, uh, like I said, this is going to be a, a ramble. I just want to go for a walk. Um, you know, I've got the drapes up because it's just blistering, well, I should say UV intense uh, sunlight coming through and I have to remind myself, dude, man, you got to like protect uh, some of these games that you've got hanging out on the walls and so on and so forth and never did when I was a kid, you know, that kind of thing. So I got that there, haven't really looked at it much. Rob was supposed to come over Sunday, didn't, and in a weird way, I'm kind of, I'm not saying glad he did, didn't, but it helped put other things into context, I think, and also uh, push things along uh, that I didn't expect to have pushed along. Uh, so we were still going to figure out what kind of game. Um, I think he did a Freudian slip. That's why I've got Verdun 1916 Steel Inferno out. So he texts me or message, messages me and says, oh, uh, what game are we going to be playing? This I can't remember. Is it uh, the Steel Inferno one? I went, uh, uh. It was supposed to be um, quarter, uh, quarter Master General 1914, but I was like, uh, and we were going to, um, and then I was like, you know what, um, let's pop this puppy out, and it, it just did dawn on me, I was like, wait a minute, you got the Verdun thing over there, so it'll be nice to have both of them uh, out there. I think this will be a good thing to do. I think raw, it'll be um, a good focus. I think it, I, I want to not do the Quartermaster General 1914 unless we get maybe a couple of other people. Maybe we'll play it, uh, you know, by ourselves or something at one point. But I thought, no, I'd rather just do it with him. Got this out here because I had to rearrange my table like there was no tomorrow when I realized I was going to pop this on. This is going to start in earnest in May. Oh, thank goodness. I've been, well, I wanted to have a front page. Remember way back when, um... Uh, for my birthday back in October and uh, you know that's um, that's World War One and Morse code kind of well with little fancy bits but I wanted to have it like here it's gonna be my kind of like my um whatever but I want to still do uh, I want to do a, a layout like old school I, I, like you know obviously I have to still do digital stuff and whatnot to uh, communicate with people like when I have like ads I actually want to have them either like QR codes or links to other people's uh, YouTube stuff or information you know what I mean on a front page but I still want to show it like it's a um, well we're we gonna see well, you see look at the templates all the, the crazy nonsense I've been talking about this I love this is a sample of well, you can see I mean how the hell I mean I've ripped it off like there's no tomorrow but that's going to be basically the template I'm using in here. This is some other stuff. And as you can see, I've kind of like here. God, this is ages ago. So far, so good, man. I know you're thinking, well, why don't you just turn the music off? I'm listening to a brand new DJ right now, a guest session, and um, he's doing pretty good, man. I was actually, it was weird when I was setting up the uh, game here. I'm listening to some dub techno. And this woman comes on she starts in the background she's just speaking perfect parisian french i was like what this is crazy i love it um yeah i got harold bosma's package it's going out tomorrow thank f and god at least i get, start getting the boat rolling um i'm just like i said just doing a little wander around here uh and what part you know i had to like rearrange this um this is like a sh mo modified well shoe racks from the dollar store extended and it's obviously was the precursor to um so much with my gaming gantry but i had to move some stuff around but um yeah the espionage thing is still kicking 
Uh, do I need to turn the light on? I don't think so. Oddly enough, the uh, doppeldecker home thingamajig is coming up with a extra use right now because I'm not doing much with doppeldecker. 23 days to go though to can games, man. Talk about that in a minute as well. Um, so it's kind of doing uh, double duty. Oh my god, do doppeldecker, that's insane. So it's doing double duty. <laughs> Um, I'm using my Lazy General and I'm poppy, I popped on. I'm still staring at Death in the Trenches. I really... There's something just interesting about this version of Death in the Trenches. So I'm really happy that I traded for it uh, from the Grog Shed. Yes, trust me, it's going to happen. I do feel bad that I do not have uh, um, the Great War Deluxe from GMT or um, um, Rock of the Iron Out from Hex to Hex yet. It will happen, man. Trust me. Um, it's in the queue. I, these are things that are going to happen. This, though, on the other thing, was the fact that um, watching, you know, um, Mandarin Mike's material there on CSR and, awards, and I was like, wait a flippin' minute. You're a play tester for this, this Galdarn game. There's actually no one that has a video out playing this game. And I was like, okay, Chris. You're not going to play it with your version of the of this game because I've got a deluxified version. I'm not playing uh, with this. Uh, my, I would not be playing it, but I'm going to play it the way it's it's play. Uh, you know what I mean with the with the uh, the counters that are way bigger than the hexes and so on and so forth. Because I'll show you in a minute. Hold on. Yeah, I had to cover up some stuff because I'm about to mail out some other stuff, and I don't want people to see that. Basically. Um, Hold on here. I'm trying to look. Yeah, the DJ is doing pretty good right now. I'm impressed. So as you can see, um, there I can do. Um, well, it's actually that map over there. That one there. The hexes are like way, way, way bigger, and uh, I've got my own counters made and so on and so forth. So they're like they're properly registered. Like everything's in the center and. Sorry, I got to pop on this rock thing. Keep the door from. It's an old house, man. 1957. There. Um, nice big chunk of igneous there, eh? Uh, I just finished watching um, Jezza One's um, part. No, just the intro again to uh, his Eastern Front. Thank God, do I ever envy him? He's got all oh, so many maps connected together. Like he's all the way up at the top of Riga, all the way down to, um, 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 well, here, I, mm, I think he's actually all the way down to the Aegean, uh, pretty damn sure, the little brat. Uh, just, uh, he's, well, to me, the, as uh, I aspire to be try, trying to be like him, that guy is just incredible. Absolutely incredible. Like I said, I'm doing a little bit of whatever. I did want to show you uh, Charles Latour's vegetable um, counterpart. It's been doing quite well, hasn't it? Yeah, you can see. Yeah, other than that, uh, oh yeah, like I said, I wanted to talk about things. So Rob and I are doing a lot more misses than hits for uh, um, hanging out. So we were thinking, wait a minute, let's do, and I was thinking, oh my gosh, Clark Commando 1983 actually uh, offered up uh, helping me out if I ever wanted to do a um, Oh, jeez, sorry, the music's really just kicking it. Um, gosh, this plant just loves being here. It's older than Zoe. Do for. Look at that. Is that a sweetie peaty or what? I just love this thing. But here's the problem. is uh, I'm having difficulty getting into the chair. So I have to, like, I'm always like, ooh, you can't, like, move out too quick. And so, oh, and so, oh yeah, hello, Bosma. So that's your, uh, that plant that you have near your table. That's that version, but much bigger. And you see that cut bit right there? I'm going to show you what, maybe. Um, yeah, I'm telling you right now, guys, I am desperate, desperate to do an RPG, uh, World War I related RPG like you have no effing clue. About the stick. Still, oh yeah, so here you go, Harabasma, take a look at this. This is how much bigger that thing was. I had to put it in at a ridiculously, uh, at a ridiculous angle 
to get it in, out, in and out of the house. And I was just like, okay, this is getting a bit much. Like it was just, re well, I was, it was dropping dirt all the time uh, going in and, in and out of the house. That's it. I've, um, I'm going to go downstairs. I can't believe I've got such a, oh, no, I didn't. What am I saying? Let's go to the chair. Hold on. Yeah, this is obviously going to be a ramble if anybody ever gets, oh, why not, man? Because it's been about a, about a lot of love about people, uh, to be honest with you. Um, <laughs> when I look at that room off in the thing, which is oddly enough, it's called the den. That other one, I was thinking it was reminding me of F, F, F. Sorry, the music is just pumping. And um, I know people, some people at work think I put it on, but I'm like, no, this is the way I am. Um, I would be dancing my effing brains out right now. I have a, I, um, I work with a stand up sit down table or whatever, and I just pump the music in my, um, well, I can't hear a goddamn thing. I um, actually uh, popped on some of the music there for, um, oh, sweet Jesus. I popped on some music uh, for one of the co-workers last week and uh, gave him uh, try out my headphones. And he was like, Jesus, I can't hear anything else but the music. I was like, exactly. Um, yeah, I just dance. Uh, you get me there? I, I like, I just dance. Well, obviously I have to work, but you, you know what I mean? Um, just uh, dancing, just love it, love it. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking what we may do is uh, so we're going to set up maybe uh, try to figure out some little mini con, uh, like maybe five people or six people or something like that. Maybe even rent. Uh, I think we'll figure out. We'll figure it out. Uh, and like I said, uh, Clark Commando 1983 has um, has a massive amount of experience. I was talking to Rob about it and he was like, oh, my God, that sounds like a great idea. And I said, yeah, of course, it's not. I mean, 23 days away from can games. So you're not thinking that's. Also having, a, you know, an impact in my head of thinking that can happen. Uh, as well as talking with the grog shed. I don't know if he would ever do it or something like that. But you never know. I'm just saying it's something to think about. And I, I'm glad that Rob... Sorry, I'm just trying to move around a bit. And I'm glad that Rob's uh, thinking about that. Um, what else can I say? Jesuit One had a great little review about uh, Twilight in the East. Which I found uh, uh, an eye-opener and a half. So that was nice to see. Um, that's it. Um, yeah, I could, as you know, I could probably talk my little brains out. Um, that's about, yeah, like I said, that's about it. I'm going to go downstairs and, uh, well, let's quickly go down, I guess. Why not? Yeah, remember the original map? The peak, the pea soup map, I call it. Because uh, I got the colors so bloody wrong when um, I requested it to get printed. Alrighty, here we go. Let's go down to that absolutely amazing. Uh, uh, I also have to do a separate video. There's been so much going on. Oh, guess what? Um, I haven't done it yet, but the only thing that's probably, I mean, let's, who am I trying to kid? So, there's an eBay seller selling this, and I can get it shipped to my house for about $100 Canadian. That's about sixty to seventy dollars less than what I was gonna pay for it a while back. So the only thing that's probably gonna stop me is if somebody buys it before me. So <laughs> do it, save my soul, oh brother. So yep, yeah, I'm gonna. Um, you want to say hello to Puss? Hey Leo, Puss. There you go. See, I know you. I know you. You don't know the name of. Uh, uh, Charles Latour didn't get back to me about uh, Tommaso Tutini. Uh, sorry, Tito, uh, Titoni. Um, oh, you little whatever. Anyways, that's the way it goes. It's a, this is a real world. Yeah, I'm gonna um, have a lot of fun here. But uh, I screwed up. I screwed the pooch here with the the Vorsch army last turn, so I had to move the uh, the headquarters over. And with my rules, I'm not allowed to do anything. Anyways, I'll stop here because I, I can. Like I said, I better just stop. Alright, hope you're having a good time, man. See ya.